Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly reading for Cancer. How are you guys this week? This is a general read, any aspect of your life, so take it how it best resonates for you. Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? The energies around you, your love life, finance, career. Yeah, a little stress and anxiety here. Maybe some sleepless nights. Cancer. Yeah, so I do feel there's something here that maybe wasn't successful here because this is a card of, I mean, generally it's all about a victory, but something here wasn't or someone's stressing out about something here. It's an energy of watching a little pride and ego here too. So there we have an energy of waiting. Some of you are waiting for something here, I feel. If it's not yourself, it's someone else. Kind of waiting here, but I do see some stress and anxiety. I mean, it could be a little guilt here. Someone could have a little bit of guilt here, but I feel it just has to do with kind of waiting to see how something plays out. It's an energy of waiting for something to come to wish and hoping for the best here, but probably stressing out about it. Yeah. So to wait and see here, I feel, because it is about something coming to fruition. Yeah, and I see the Nine of Cups. Someone being a little cautious, careful what they wish for. So I feel someone didn't get something they wanted. Maybe it's because their attitude or their ego got in the way here. But, you know, this is about acknowledging it. Just kind of waiting, acknowledging here. Because I do feel it has to do with someone getting that last, last cup filled. It's the Nine of Cups. Someone's been keeping their something to themselves here, and it's stressing them out. It's more than likely... Um, some kind of need for communication because I do feel someone's got some stress and anxiety, but there could be some guilt here too. So we'll just see where this goes, Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know? Yeah, there you are. So this is about being emotionally mature here. So I feel like you're just, it's saying to just be a little cautious, be a little careful what you wish for. I feel like it's just a little stress and anxiety, feeling you're not going to have some kind of victory. Okay, because I do see an opportunity, see, waiting for something to come to fruition. Yeah, it has to do with some kind of opportunity, planting the seed here. Yeah, you know, and I feel it's just telling you here to just kind of, you know, play it safe, be a little cautious, but I do feel here there's more stress and anxiety. Um, really, I feel that's, that's what's happening, and it has to do with pride and ego, has to do whether something will be successful. Now, this could be an energy of having to just acknowledge that you're stressing out, just waiting to see. Uh, someone has a little fear of rejection or they're not going to get what they want here. Yeah, so it could have to do with money finances here. Feeling like there's not enough money. This could be a job situation, something that, you know, you're waiting for. And if it's not yourself, it's someone around you. But it has to do with planting the seed. See, someone here maybe feels they're going to miss an opportunity or they're going to be rejected. So it's just, I feel it's just stress and anxiety, a little lack of money. And possibly some of you may be feeling a little lonely, left out in the cold. Now, this is often an energy of someone who doesn't get something they want. It's an energy of not getting the attention you want. Now, you may have someone here who's, you know, not giving you uh, attention. I feel it's something that needs to be acknowledged. But I definitely can see something to do with financial success as well. Yeah. And if you have someone who's not giving you the attention or they're not acknowledging uh, something here, you may be thinking of, you know, going off in another direction, taking another opportunity, whether it's a relationship energy or whether it has to do with financial success. Because I see kind of loneliness, feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected, like someone's ignoring you, not talking to you. But I feel it, often this is just an energy of looking at the situation. It's saying to just kind of wait and see what happens here. Because I do feel it, it, this is something that will happen. And I do see it solid, it's reliable. Yeah, but I do, maybe some of you are, you know, someone's ignoring you or not giving you any attention or there's a need, something that needs to be acknowledged that's stressing you out. Maybe just waiting for the right time, but it's also an energy of just being kind of patient here. Yeah, I do see the devil, a little obsession here. 
Someone's a little bit obsessed with the situation. This is often when you get in your head and you really focus on something and it just it's, it's giving you more stress and anxiety if it's yourself. But I mean, maybe it's another person. I see a little sad energy. Definitely finances, money, feeling left out in the cold. It's an energy of lack. Something's lacking. Yeah, so I feel it's just an energy of obsessing. And I do see a little workaholic energy, somebody who's focused a lot on one thing here, working really hard, kind of obsessing over it. And it could have to do with financial, but I feel this is where someone ends up with sleepless nights. Yeah, see the devil. This is someone here obsessing, overthinking a situation, stress and anxiety. It's really just something I feel it's saying that it's about just acknowledging it, okay? Just acknowledging it. Yeah, see, it has to do with a house and a home. Uh, it's a financial foundation, but I actually feel this is something, you know, I feel it's sort of needless stress. Yeah, it's about investing. See, you know, this could be to do with a commitment or some kind of investment in a house and a home, uh, an opportunity. So it's saying just, just be patient here. Because it has to do, I feel it has to do with whether something's going to pay off. Now, it could be paying off a mortgage, things like that. But I feel it's just, you know, I actually feel there's positive here because I do feel it has to do with building a foundation. Something to do with a house and a home or a relationship or some kind of commitment to something here. Yeah, a lot of obsession here. Like I feel, it's the devil. <laughs> yeah, a lot of... Too much thinking. I feel it's just saying just wait to see how this plays out. Keep yourself busy doing other things. Okay. Yeah. So it's an energy of trusting that intuition, your inner knowing. Okay. Maybe keeping something to yourself. Maybe you feel someone around you is keeping a secret. Okay. But I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. Yeah. It's just energy. And if it is yourself keeping something to yourself and it's causing you stress and idea, there's something that needs to be acknowledged about finances, a house and a home commitment. Because there's that pentacle, see, waiting. And I do feel this is something that will happen. But I do feel like you're being careful what you wish for. You feel like you're not going to get what you want. But if it's not you, it's someone around you who feels they're not going to get what they want here. Yeah, because I know the Queen of Cups, you know, this is an energy of being mature, emotionally mature. It's an energy of someone waiting for something here. Yeah, see, waiting for the cup, some sort of invitation, offer, opportunity, a fresh new start. Yeah, a lot of stress and anxiety, but I, I really feel here a lot of this is likely going to be needless. Yeah, maybe it's a little fear of rejection. Maybe it has to do with an invitation. Yeah, but it's an energy of acknowledging. See, it's an energy of acknowledging. Um, and if it is yourself where you, you know, you want, you know, more money, you feel like you don't have enough money. This is often someone who always feels they don't have enough money. So they work, 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 you see. And that's where I feel. And it's often somebody who does that so much, they do it in their sleep. So, yeah. Let's see what this Nine of Cups has to say here. Yeah, you've got a king of cups. This is someone offering the cups. Yeah, I feel like someone here maybe hasn't been giving you enough attention or they kind of feel like your, your attention is elsewhere. But this is the cup, the opportunity. This is something to do with a connection to people, maybe a couple. I do think that both of you, you know, I feel maybe even both of you are kind of a little stress and anxiety about money, maybe commitment, you know, starting fresh here. But there's the cup, the cup runneth over. And I do feel, you know, like maybe you feel like this person's not going to offer you. Now, it could be an invitation, an opportunity of some sort. Absolutely. But it has to do with the foundation. It's about building a financial foundation. It's about waiting patiently for some kind of investment, maybe hoping something pays off, stressing. Yeah, someone here is, um, you know, thinking about protecting themselves, protecting their money, kind of holding back here. Now, it could be about saving money, too. You know, I do feel there's going to be something that needs to be acknowledged to do with finances, living together. Um, if you are already a married couple, I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. I see some Pisces energy. Yeah, I feel this person, you know, if it is the other person, but I feel like they already know themselves, you know. It has to do with commitment, investing in it, but it has to do with, I feel, investing in the future. 
But I feel it's someone who feels rejected, ignored, or they just feel like they're not going to get what they want. Yeah, we have the King of Swords. So this is often an energy of someone who's analyzing the situation. Someone doing a lot of thinking, analyzing, looking at the situation here. It has to do with you know, lack of money, loneliness. But I do see both people kind of, you know, stressing out here. So it looks like both of you. You know, it's an energy of someone in protective mode, yeah, protecting themselves. Now, this is uh, an energy sometimes where someone's just trying to save their money. Now, it could be someone communicating that. A fresh new start, hold on to your money, save it. But this is often someone here who, you know, has, has money. Maybe this is what you're thinking, that they have money and they're holding out. So, but I, you know, because this... Ace of Cups is in the heart of the reading. I feel like you're going to get what you want. See, this is someone here. It's about filling the cup, getting what you want. Now, maybe this person, you know, wants to talk about this, but I say it, someone here feels like they're not going to get what they want here. But it's here because I see that fresh new start, the opportunity. So, yeah, I mean, when I see the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, it has to do with cooperation, compromise. Someone's in protective mode, and it could be protecting their money. Someone here definitely works hard. But I feel like you have this common energy of obsessing maybe over money or just two people who are crazy about each other wanting to know if someone's as invested emotionally as the other. Because someone here is kind of keeping things to themselves here. But it's a, I do think this is an energy where you will get what you want. And I do feel, you know, I mean, there could be other people involved here, but I really feel it's just this person's energy. Someone who feels they missed an opportunity. This is someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity. They're analyzing the situation. Now, it could be this person's workaholic, working, working. They feel they don't have enough. It could be their pride and ego. They want to be a good provider. Maybe they feel they can't provide or they're not ready to commit. Because I feel like that's what's happening here. It has to do with waiting for this pentacle, waiting for to build the foundation in a relationship here. This is someone planning, preparing ahead. I do feel they're working. I do feel a little bit of workaholic. Yeah, see, it's a stress and anxiety over money. See, both of you just kind of waiting here, waiting for a situation to come to fruition. So I see there's a little pride, ego here. It's about being able to be a good provider. This is someone who maybe feels they don't have enough to provide, but they have feelings, emotions. But I feel, you know, the feminine here is in protective mode. And I do feel it is about saving money. Someone's, you know, or protecting their money, their house, their home, their financial foundation. But I really feel it's just a person who's keeping things. See, this is what happens when you keep things close to your chest. Because I feel there's a need for conversation. Something needs to be acknowledged. The successes. Okay. It's about success, victory. Because someone feels there's not going to be. So it's, it's kind of, like I say, stress and anxiety and obsessing over it. But it's an energy of both people waiting. See, it's an energy of waiting. Now, someone may be a little worried that you're going to look elsewhere. Now, this could be a job, someone looking somewhere. And I do feel, like I say, it has to do with being financially stable, being very grounded. Someone's grounding, see, this grounding energy looking into the future, just kind of waiting. But I feel both people are kind of, I feel it's just, it's about talking about it. Uh, someone, you know, it's, it's about getting it off the chest. It has to do with someone feeling they missed an opportunity or someone's ignoring someone or wanting to know uh, why. Because it's an energy of someone who's keeping things close to their chest. It's protective mode. Now, maybe it's the feminine, but it could be the masculine. Now, you could be the feminine or masculine energy, but you can see that devil energy. I feel it's just a, a workaholic, maybe working too much here, focusing too much on the money. Because there's love here. Because I do feel, I mean, I can see this person keeping something to themselves, feelings and emotions, but that cup runneth over. I mean, there's feelings, there's love, there's opportunity. See, I feel both of you. See, a little mirroring energy, I feel. See, both of you keeping something to yourself. There's a need to talk. It has to do with filling each other's cup. That this And this could be successful, I, I feel. But if someone's pride, they feel they don't, you know, there's feelings and emotions. But it has to do with someone who's, you know, I feel there's just too much focus on money. Not enough and maybe a lot of talk or obsession about it where there should be more 
you know, love, emotions. And there's the truth. Someone's seeing the truth. So it's, I also see some sort of idea. Someone's planning, preparing for something here. Just kind of waiting, hoping for this also to come into fruition. So much focus on money. Not enough balance and other things in the relationship. But yeah, I just really feel we, and it's an energy of someone working, workaholic kind of energy. But there we have it, see, holding back, keeping things close to your chest, feeling like you need to protect yourself. Maybe you feel like someone's not coming to you with the right intentions and you're obsessed with it. You Maybe you feel they're, you know, uh, chasing you for money or vice versa. But I got to tell you, I feel there's too much focus on that. It's about the... The Four of Pentacles is about balance. It's about balancing out all the other aspects of the relationship. Okay, So I feel it's just an energy of kind of waiting to see what happens. See, I feel this is someone waiting. Now, it could be a job opportunity. This is someone coming up with ideas. But it also has to do with the truth. It has to do with someone speaking the truth, seeing the truth. Okay, I do feel this is somebody here who will be successful if they're not. Or, you know, the truth is they are. Because it's often an energy where someone kind of feels someone may be chasing them for money. So they kind of hold back a little bit and keep some things to themselves. But I feel this is just, you know, it's, I feel it's just an unhealthy energy. Keeping all those feelings bottled in until you explode. And that's what I feel. Someone here, I feel, is, has to do with truth. And it could be either one of you, but you're mirroring each other, I feel. Yeah, tell me about this King of Pentacles energy. I feel like it's just this person's energy. Yeah, just trying to ground. See, someone talking, getting something off their chest, analyzing the situation. See, it's an energy of lack, something very negative. Someone's waiting and waiting for this opportunity. Now, they could be waiting for you or, okay, could go either way. But there it is. It's an energy of two people kind of waiting. It has to do with this bond, this connection and love. Now, this is about two people building each other up. Okay, not holding back. So we got two people just kind of waiting. Nobody's budging. You're keeping things close to your chest. It, it has to do with, you know, um, I'm not seeing like fear, commitment or anything. I feel it has to do with the financial foundation. It has to do with success and victory. So there's a need to know. Now, this is often why. So somebody could be telling you why, or if you're the feminine, you want to know why. Okay. Yeah, it has to do with that holding back, keeping things close to the chest, not expressing yourselves, you know, creating a lot of stress and anxiety. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, a little Libra energy. Maybe they have it in their chart, but it's about being fair. See, it's about doing things right. So this could be somebody who doesn't want to uh, commit or move in together till they feel financially stable. So I just feel like there's just all this stress and anxiety, and it's really just about communicating, talking, sharing your feelings here. Okay, Because I do feel that's exactly what's happening, holding it all in. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. See, someone here single enjoying the fruits of their labor. Yeah, it has to do with truth. And it could be somebody wanting to know the truth. I feel someone is going to explain something. And I do feel they're going to get something off their chest. But they're going to be fair. Or maybe, you know, feeling someone's not being fair. But uh, I do feel there's something to do maybe with a, another person here too. Because I'm seeing the... The Elder of Chalices, the Queen of Cups, twice. So there's some sort of truth here. And also see some sort of idea. But I feel it's an energy of why. Somebody wants to know why. And they're telling someone the truth. This person is telling the truth. The masculine, I feel, is telling the truth. Or they want to know the truth. Maybe you just want to be single. Maybe you want to live alone. There's all kinds of things going on here. But it's an energy. And I do see someone here who looks after themselves. They take care of themselves. And if it is an energy where you're just waiting for someone to start something, to get something going, this person's going to tell you. I do feel that, you know, it has to do with this fresh new start, this opportunity. This is someone having a fresh new start. But I feel both of you are, you know, being cautious, being a little careful what you wish for. But you're all, both of you are very similar here. You're keeping things inside. 
And that's what I feel. It's a protective energy, protecting everything you've worked for, both of you. But two, we have two people who are crazy about each other. <laughs> so it's about marriage, commitment, or just being fair. It has to do with balance. And I also see energy of balancing the budget, someone trying to save money. But I feel as if someone's just kind of holding back here. And I mean, either one of you could feel the other person's coming in for all the wrong reasons. Because this, the Six of Wands is sometimes a person who chases something for all the wrong reasons. So it has to do with whether there's, this person's is invested. So I feel the energy is just kind of being patient, looking at the situation. Yeah. I, I feel it has it with investing in, in a relationship, marriage, but also something financial. Yeah, see, we have the birth of something new, being open to new. So it's also an energy of being open to talk, to communicate. So, yeah, I, and I mean, the, the Empress is always open to new ideas. Always open to new ideas, new offers, opportunities. So some of you, it's really just two people who are crazy about each other and just need to open up emotionally and stop holding it in um, because I you know and it's possible you're both in protective mode this is someone who looks out for someone I feel they'll they'll be protective but I do think this person will tell you some truths here you know I don't you know and they may want to know why with yourself now often it's just a person around you who's crazy about you they might even tell you that <laughs> You see, it's also someone who wants to know if someone's single or why somebody is still single. Because we have, I mean, we have two people who are very kind and compassionate. And I mean, the Empress is here. It's the birth of something new. So it's an energy I feel of, you know, stress and anxiety, maybe some kind of regret or some kind of guilt. You know, it's possible somebody has some kind of guilt for keeping a secret or keeping something to themselves. They will tell you the truth, I feel. And I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. Trust your inner knowing. Okay, for the feminine, trust your inner knowing here. But I feel this person already knows too. This is quite interesting. Yeah, see, there is another person. Someone wants to know if someone's involved with someone else. I see friends, family, some kind of offer invitation to introduce to friends and family. Now, this could be just someone around you in your social circle. But I got to tell you, two people are crazy about each other. You're both obsessed with money or you're workaholics. Okay. Now, if you're already with each other, you're already seeing each other and there's some kind of relationship. It has to do with committing to that. Because I can see this energy of somebody waiting. But I feel like you're both waiting. No one's budging. You're both keeping everything to yourselves here. And it's emotional. It's about filling the cup. friends and family, but I do feel there's somebody else, somebody wants to know something. And I do think someone's going to get something off their chest. It has to do with someone who maybe didn't treat them right. This is someone who, you know, maybe they had a partner who didn't treat them right, or maybe they did and they have guilt. But I, I really feel we have someone here who feels they're being ignored or they're not so, and it's someone who's also not so sure about marriage and commitment too, because of this lack. I feel this is someone who you know, it's an energy of two people protecting themselves, maybe even their money. Now, definitely an energy of independence. But for a lot of you, it's just a person here wanting to know if you're interested in someone else. Because if you're ignoring them or not giving them attention, and it really could be vice versa, that you may be giving it to someone else and vice versa. Because I see someone not giving someone attention, not acknowledging them. And it's making somebody kind of, you know obsess a little bit here someone's driving someone crazy <laughs> well actually both of you <laughs> yeah but like i say i i feel it's just an energy of filling each other's cup giving each other what you want cooperating compromise someone's being a little stuck stubborn keeping feelings to themselves now i feel it's more like keeping that emotional energy to themselves feeling like they need to protect themselves it's an energy of someone looking out for number one I feel this is someone here will look out for you. Yeah. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Yeah. See, it has to do with pro both people, pride and ego, getting in the way. It has to do with, you know, intentions, what someone's intentions are. Will they commit? But I feel someone here, like I say, it's, it's pride, 
being blocked by their pride. They feel they can't provide, but yet they have feelings. Because I, you know, I feel they're working. They're obsessed with work, a workaholic. They feel they don't have enough money. Now, it could be someone who's worried someone's coming in, chasing them for all the wrong reasons. Because that's often how I see that six of wands. So I feel it really, it, I, I feel we have two people who need to talk. It's about love. It's about a bond, a connection. It's about coming together here. Tell me about the lovers. It could be choices too. Someone choices someone made in the past. Uh, it's also maybe two people who both had unhealthy relationships. But I see the Empress. This is the energy of healing. Okay, Definitely someone letting someone know they're open to receive. Instead of keeping it to themselves. So tell me more about this. the lovers here. Yeah, see someone looking back, feeling beat up, feeling like giving up when it comes to finding love. But this is someone who's not going to give up. Someone's telling someone, don't give up here. This is a person putting something in the past. And it's definitely, I, I actually feel both people here have had a tough time. Both people have had a tough time here. Uh, financial, tough time in relationships, marriages, commitments. But this is someone trying to be fair or they feel someone's not being fair because they're keeping everything to themselves. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah, some strong Libra. This is all about love here. Yeah, it's an energy of happiness. Someone seeing the bigger picture. See, the energy of making someone happy. I feel someone here is not sure they can make someone happy or they want to know what makes them happy and the other person's not telling them. Uh, I see here. So as far as the feminine goes, if there's something you want that makes you happy, you have to speak up. Okay? You have to speak up. Because I do feel you want to know what this person's intentions are, but I feel like it's vice versa uh, as well here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's about someone putting themselves out there, putting all the cups on the table, looking into the future. So someone who knows what they want, but they feel like, you know, it's an energy of opportunity. Someone may be rejecting somebody. This is an energy where instead of working together, building each other up, it's an energy of tearing down. So I do feel someone here had somebody who tore them down, didn't treat them right. And I do feel this is someone coming in. So it's about building up and it's about putting all this behind and looking into the future. Happy home, happy life, marriage. Yeah, see, this is an energy of talking. It's all about communicating, not holding it in. Someone's ignoring someone or they're, they just don't know, you know. But I feel there's someone here who sees a future with someone. But it's an energy of having to put some things in the past, putting something behind. So, yeah, see, it's about not giving up on this. Mm hmm. Yeah, we have someone suffering in silence. Oh, it just tried to come out and I flipped it accidentally. It was the, it was the page of cups. Uh, so someone, there it is, someone keeping all their feelings to themselves here. See, suffering in silence, not wanting to talk about it. That's what happens, see, and that's what happens. And I know cancer, you can do that. Maybe you both have cancer in your chart, but I see some with Pisces. And both people can often do that. Kind of obsess. Very strong Capricorn energy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. See? Obsessing, but not talking about it. So it's about communicating. It's about two people needing to communicate. There's a need to talk. And it could be someone feeling a little emotionally overwhelmed, things happening too quickly. Because it looks like somebody's just broken free from something, some an unhealthy situation. Uh, you know, a toxic relationship, for that matter. So I feel, it. you know, it's an energy of, I do think this situation will come to fruition. We have the Queen of Pentacles. See, a lot of focus on house, home, money. Someone who wants a comfortable home. A person who wants to feel comfortable. Now, maybe it's yourself. This person made you feel uncomfortable. They came on too fast, too strong. This is often someone who just wears their heart on their sleeve. You see, they just come in really fast. So, But I do see the King and Queen of Pentacles, the power couple. See, you have something in common. Always work, work. Always feel like you don't have enough money. 
But I feel this is where two people come together and build each other up. You can be successful. And I do see the queen of or the empress being open to talk. But it has to do with healing uh, from something very unhealthy. A lot of stress, anxiety, you know, leaving regrets in the past. And I do see success and victory. This is someone who wants to be successful. Their pride and ego got in the way. They felt they could they feel they can't provide or they maybe can't make you happy. But this is someone I feel, you know, kind of chasing the dream here. They definitely want to be successful. Maybe they were at one time, but they're not as successful now. I feel they will be again. I mean, I just feel like it's all about pride and ego. Yeah, someone has it's about trust issues. Someone has trust issues. So someone who maybe was manipulated by somebody, but it's about putting it all behind. I feel we have two people who have, you know, had a really tough time here, but it's about putting the past in the past. It's almost there, okay? It's almost there, nine of wands. So let's see where this is going to go. See, it's all about trusting each other. And I feel there's, uh, you know, an issue with trust because of unhealthy situations. I see mixed messages, mixed signals. See someone sending someone mixed signals. Because you're not sure. If you're the feminine, you may not be sure if you see a future with this person. But I do feel like you're both kind of just, you know, two people are crazy about each other here. But I feel it's about leaving the past in the past. Tell me about the nine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, this is an energy of dating and courting. It has to do with communicating. So someone's just exploring their feelings. See, it's about exploring this. So it has to do with the journey, exploring the connection and just staying in dating mode for a bit. So someone here definitely, you know, wanting to be successful. They want to be able to come in right. They feel like they're not quite ready. But there's love and feelings. I mean, you can see. But I feel like you just need to talk about it. And it's possible, too, this person came on very fast, got emotionally overwhelmed, and maybe it's yourself, you know, needing to feel safe and secure. But don't keep it to yourself. Okay, don't keep it to yourself. See, lack and lonely. Feeling, you know, that someone's coming with lack, they don't have enough money, but there's definitely a vice versa here. Yeah, see, it's about cooperating, compromising, compatibility. See, you've got something in common, very common energy. This is the water. <laughs> a lot of water here. But see, it's two people who, who never got what they want in past relationships after giving and giving. But it's about both of you getting something you want, filling each other's cup, making each other happy. This person just feels... I mean, there's feelings. They want they want this fresh new start. They want this opportunity. But like I say, it has to do with putting these trust issues behind. Yeah, you got an emperor. This person's emperor leveling up. See, this is truth, success, victory. This person's determined. There's someone who doesn't give up. Oh, there goes my bird. The timing. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at this Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who doesn't want to repeat mistakes of the past. They're doing a lot of thinking. It's a lot of obsession, okay? But this is someone who, who it has to do with cooperating, compromising, making sure two people are compatible. I actually feel that you could be, but this is about two people who need to build each other up, not tear each other down. And in your in your heads more than anything, you see, it's someone who tells themselves stories in their heads. It starts to become very negative, you see. So it's more like that self-fulfilling prophecy. But it has to do with sacrificing. And someone here is definitely suffering in silence. So it's time to talk and communicate. See, it has to do with healthy relationships, a bond between two people, putting the past in the past, dating but not wanting to repeat mistakes of the past. There's someone here who definitely can't stop thinking about you, but I feel it has to do with, you know, things that have happened before. Yeah, see, this is someone who definitely has regrets or they felt like there was no hope to find love, to connect with somebody here. So I feel like just talk. It's all about talking, communicating, okay? I feel, I feel it's just an energy of two people needing to you know, it, it's about bonding, building each other up, cooperating, compromising, looking to see if you're compatible. So 
yeah but i feel this is an energy of someone you know communicating now if you have somebody who's coming back around one of you have someone who's coming back around someone may be wanting to know okay but i feel you've got an emperor here now this is definitely someone who has boundaries but i do feel they have trust issues and it does look like because they're you know they're the financial stability so this is someone who takes a little time to explore their feelings. It takes them time to trust. But there are feelings and emotions. This is someone who does want love. But this is a person, I feel, who never got what they wanted before. So I feel like you need to build each other up, give each other what you want, giving each other attention. And it's about recognizing and acknowledging your successes together. Okay? Yeah, see, it's about building. This is all about building, leaving regrets in the past, getting out of the head, breaking free from the past. But I do feel this is someone who takes a little time. They will, whoever they are, they will tell you how they feel. But it's about exploring this connection, kind of just seeing how it goes. But it's a person who definitely doesn't want whatever happened to them for, before get into an unhealthy relationship with two people who you know, beat each other up, wear each other down. So that's what I feel this is all about. It's about building, see, releasing all these things from the past. We have two people who know their worth and value, their hopes and dreams is to build. But it takes two. So someone here is definitely suffering in silence. Now, it could be the feminine or the masculine. I feel it could go both ways, but you have a lot of common energies here. A lot of things that have both happen to both of you so i feel this is somebody pretty wise they're trusting their inner knowing they know this is that beautiful empress energy they know but they have trust issues and maybe it's them hoping that you will trust them because i do feel they're quite protective they will look out for you see that's what the queen of pentacles wants to know they can trust that they're safe with someone it's about feeling safe and secure knowing that someone you know it is you know on your side on your team so really with the star and someone's hopes and dreams everything they could ever want but it has to do with building and putting in the work so someone definitely been doing inner work i do feel their focus on their hopes and dreams this is definitely a person who wants to be more successful but i still feel there's a lot of too much focus on money not enough focus on uh, how you both feel about each other because it's all this self-fulfilling prophecy so please take care of yourself okay either whoever you are masculine or feminine because i do see it is the birth of something new something starting here and i do feel if you let this person know you're open or it's also an energy of healing from an unhealthy relationships it's about not letting the same thing happen again. It's about kind of just taking your time a little bit, staying grounded. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is a power couple. You have something in common, but it's about teaming up and the compatibility, how you complement each other, the things you both bring to the table. So there's lots of love and compassion, but it's we've got two people have a tendency to keep their feelings bottled up instead of expressing them, okay? Take care and we'll see you soon.